Hi everyone, it's Rebecca M. Holt with the Mount Pleasant Chamber of Commerce. I want to welcome you to our weekly The Pivot, living and working during COVID-19 and uh, really excited about our guests today. We're going to be talking about team building both in person and virtually with On Purpose Adventures, who was one of our expo sponsors for our virtual ex expo speaking of, speaking of which you can still check out the expo it's going on now through tomorrow I encourage you to check that out and all the events with the mount pleasant chamber of commerce as we get ready to go into the fall season it's almost october hard to believe so um, i want to welcome now john carroll our moderator for today's the pivot John is the president of Unlimited Performance, and he also serves on the executive board with the Mount Pleasant Chamber of Commerce. Good afternoon, John. Hello, Rebecca. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. Glad to be here, and thank you once again for making all of this work and come together as seamlessly as it does. Um, I want to welcome everybody also to The Pivot, a weekly series of informational discussions on our local, regional, and national issues in the midst of and following the current pandemic. This event is presented exclusively by the Mount Pleasant Chamber of Commerce. My role as moderator is to introduce our guests, get the discussion started with some questions, and give those attending the event live the opportunity to participate by using the chat or Q&A function, which Rebecca will be monitoring throughout. Thank you for taking the time with your Mount Pleasant Chamber of Commerce to join fellow members in staying involved to help you care for your team, your clients and customers, and of course, take care of business in post-pandemic conditions. As Rebecca mentioned, as we record this edition of The Pivot, we have a day and a half left of the 10-day, 10 10th 10 anniversary of the 2020 Mount Pleasant Business and Profession uh, Community Expo. This, the event is completely virtual this year in response to safety precautions with the pandemic. Today, we talked with two people who have been instrumental behind the scenes in designing and then making the expo, a virtual expo, a reality. Our first guest today on The Pivot is Ben Jamin Toy. Ben is owner of On Purpose Adventures, specializing in virtual team building that strengthens remote employees to keep them productive and engaged. On Purpose Adventures uses an approach toward interactions and collaborations that change the minds of those who may consider all video calls to be boring. On Purpose Adventures teaches, trains, and facilitates so clients can host engaging virtual meetings. Ben is a member of the Mount Pleasant Chamber Expo Committee responsible for creating and leading this year's virtual experience. We caught up with Ben to learn a bit more about him and his firm. So Ben, welcome back to The Pivot. Thanks for having me. So glad to have you. Um, and your name and face would be familiar to uh, the people who follow the pivot on a regular basis, because uh, just a few weeks ago, you were part of a trio that helped announce the fact that the Mount Pleasant Business and Community Expo in its 10th anniversary year would be going entirely virtual. Uh, pretty exciting stuff. We're, uh, as we speak, we're still in the live 10 day virtual business and community expo. So um, Ben, we want you to talk just a little bit about the expo, and then we want to spend this time to really find out a little bit more about On Purpose Adventures. But talk just a bit about the expo, if you will, and then let's, let's learn more about your business. Sure thing. I've been a committee uh, member of the expo, and last year we had done a scavenger hunt, try to help with engagement for the expo. And this year, as we're planning and looking at the options of what is possible uh, with the uh, parameters of of in-person events, I suggested and threw out the idea of an all virtual option uh, using our gamified platform. And uh, through committees uh, meetings and board, they approved and and it's been fairly, fairly received well. You know, it's been a fun way of engaging folks, getting more information, it, it, letting, letting attendees learn about business they may not have stopped by. Uh, so it was just an attempt to try to do something when we, 
when there, there probably wasn't going to be an option to have anything. So it was a just a not a hail mary, but a strategic plan to still have something and, and put the uh, get help businesses reach attendees. Right, 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 right. And and so and people have had the opportunity now. Sponsors and guests both have had the uh, opportunity to experience the the expo. Um, we have a couple of three days left, and I know that at that point we'll have an opportunity to uh, step back and evaluate. But we really, uh, we all took a step out not having done this at this level before, right? And so um, the adventure, and, and this is where I transition into your business, um, the adventure is there and it's, it's a real thing. So let's talk a little bit about On Purpose Adventures. Um, I was almost ready to introduce you as the Chief Adventure Officer, um, but uh, okay. I'm gonna let you talk a little bit about how you got started, what, what prompted you, what this looks like. So the business itself is uh, nine years old. Uh, uh, July of 2011 uh, is when we got started. I was actually working inside sales for a trucking organization and working sales and my commission structure kept on changing. I'd hit a, I'd hit a quota and then they'd push the, the cheese a little bit further and part of a mastermind group at one point and they said, well, what are you going to do about that? I love the idea of getting paid to do what I love. And there's a long story in that, but it started out as I wanted to plan whitewater rafting trips and hiking trips and things like that. Uh, it morphed in the idea that realizing if I'm planning an event in October and it's May, I've got to figure out how to make some money in between those times because I can't spend that money. Uh, so then we became adventure event planners for bachelor and bachelorette parties for visiting the Charleston Tri-County area. And that became what we were known for for a number of years. I'd also been in personal development and professional development uh, in previous careers. So team building was a passion or seeing businesses with a lack of good team building or culture was more of the reason to get into this. And so I've been morphing slowly more into the corporate sector. And so for the last two or three years, we have been primarily uh, another business, technically another legal entity is On Purpose Team Building, a uh, division of On Purpose Adventures. And we have been doing a lot of corporate experiences. We love to say that we help uh, challenge folks so that they, are ch ch they can change in, in a positive light. And engagement, where they're interacting, they have purpose, and is, is a big par portion of what we're trying to do. So you went from, and, and this pivot happened long before any pandemic kind of a thing, you pivoted or, or morphed, if you will, through time from being primarily an entertainment uh, firm to a firm that actually can impact people's lives. That is actually the main reason why the, that pivot happened. Uh, and even recently we sold certain elements of the business off. We used to have laser skeet shooting and it's got a great home. It's, a, it's got a great fit with who owns it now. I just didn't want to be much into the party scene anymore. And they were good parties, but I wanted to make more of an indifference. I wanted to live up to the name of being intentional, being on purpose and deliberate. And so that's where we are. Uh, beginning of 2019, we even took that one step further and we wanted to be more known outside of Charleston. And so we bought 10 different suitcases that were carry-on suitcases so that we could take our team building on the road. And then we spent a lot of time last year traveling all over the country where companies would do their retreats here and then they they find us and then they take us to go to wherever their team, their next outing was. And just last year alone, we were in Atlanta, Nashville, Denver, uh, Vegas, uh, San Diego and Cabo San Lucas, just to name a few cities that companies took us after introducing themselves or be, meeting us here in Charleston. Wow, we so Ben, that uh, your your fence is pushed way out. You you became far more than local, and um, sounds like you were very busy and loved what you were doing. It was. I, I don't think I've worked a, a day in the last nine years. So that's a big part of it. Having a passion-based business is a, is a big part of that. Fantastic. So, um, all right. So we fast forward a little bit and uh, 2020 comes along. Everybody's got some big goals and wham, mid-March, 
throws throws one at us that a curveball like we've never seen before. What happens with on purpose adventures? Uh, we pretty much get taken to a halt. Uh, and this started. I was actually in Europe in Portugal uh, early March, uh, late February, early March. Started getting the emails of some cancellations and postponements and all these things. And then we get back, or while we're there. We had probably about five multi-hundred person events in April, all canceled, all within their sort of their timelines and things. So pretty much we were dead in the water. We had a we had a good plan of almost five xing this year, and we everything stopped. I mean we're based on travel where pe folks have to come visit us or we go to them, and if they're not comfortable doing that, uh, that 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 severely impacts what we're doing. Um, so I'm not one to sit too idle. And uh, with the app that we have, uh, that is a, an engagement platform for scavenger hunts that also has many ways of being used, we started creating or uh, working with a, a Dutch counterpart to make escape games, virtual escape games using our app. And then also additional scavenger hunts that could be self-guided and self-led, including what we're about to, and this thing took a little bit longer than planned, but bulldog tours, uh, great friends of mine, and we have are about to announce a, a self-guided or self-led scavenger hunt where folks can go out on their own but get video recordings of tour guides. So that's been one part of that pivot out aspect is how do we help other industries that are struggling or folks that want, don't want to be in group settings reach their people? And we have the tools that can do that because we think about things creatively and we, we try to help help them along the way. And so that might be something we take to other tour companies across the globe. That's fantastic. So in other words, you look at uh, so many of the verticals that are in-person intensive, shall we say, or in-person essential, and find a way to help them conduct business, deliver value, whether that's entertainment or otherwise, and, and do so in a way that makes them want to keep coming back to you for more. That's our intent. You know, we, it, it's always a, uh, a guess. I and mean, I'm doing a lot of things for the first time all the time. I've got an engineering background and I was raised by MacGyver in the A-team. Uh, so that's the big part of who I am of trying to solve problems. And, and, and now we've got, we've taken some time and created these pro virtual team building programs. Now, now, it's important to say that, you know, I really want people to be outside because even in, in the corporate setting, they're, they're indoors, they're not. So as much as possible, I want people to be outdoors and active, but within the realm of what people can do, we're trying to create engaging activities where they can have fun on Zoom and not just have a lecture or be, oh, another meeting. So we've, we've looked at what our services are that can translate well into this realm where there can be an activity that I can lead and somebody do at home, or people can use our app to play a game together and just talk on the phone, but don't have to be visual. So we're trying to think about these situations. A lot of it comes down to the, the mental health side of things. I mean, not, not to get anywhere deep in this, but there's, there's a lot that's gonna come around with the folks that are, have been isolated and, and there's a lot of mental um, anguish and, and, and isolation that's coming about that I, I believe our, our services are even maybe needed more now because they need to have that connection and that bonding because there's a big difference between team building and team bonding. And sometimes people, for, companies forget about that and they just need to, they don't, they, they don't have that good understanding of, of the difference that they need to have training, but they also have to have that connection and that, that commitment to their, the team where there's belonging. And, you know, one of those new pivots is we are strategically aligned with Dr. Troy Hall, who is a local speaker, consultant, and author. And we now have cohesion culture camps. So this is a virtual session where he conducts a workshop espousing the points of his book. And we actually then dovetail with his talk with physical activities that are hands-on, even from them. We tell them, grab this paper and do this thing with it. And, and work together and collaborate. So this has been a, a beautiful thing that's come about because of, of COVID and quite honestly. So, so it's been a great opportunity. Ben, I wanna hone in on something that uh, you've mentioned a few times and 
games and gamify. Uh, talk about how uh, fun is important to adult learning, to team building, team bonding. You've mentioned it a few times, and I think it's more than just ha ha, laugh, laugh. Yeah. There, there's countless studies and the statistics are out, the statistics are out there that uh, experiential learning, where people are involved in it, has higher retention. Uh, and I like to operate under the Ben Franklin quote, uh, tell me and I forget, or forget, teach me and I remember, involve me and I learn. And with that as a, as a guiding force there, fun is impactful because it's a memory and we attach importance to fun memories and, and laughing with other folks. I mean, the, the dopamine that we get from that is, is, is powerful. And so often now it's all, okay, we're gonna have this meeting, we're off and there, there's no time for the, the water cooler chat. And, and that's a big piece of that. It's, sometimes it's hard to see where you think they're wasting time, but that's, that's building that, that commitment and, and belonging aspect of things when they get to interact with coworkers. Wow, Lee. So all of this is part of what uh, makes you say, I haven't worked a day in my life for the next, last nine years. Absolutely. And, and to actually add a little bit more on that gamified side of things, uh, last year we actually started gamifying training for folks. And a, a manufacturing company locally wanted to uh, enhance their safety uh, procedures. And some people would say that safety is a pretty dull subject. And so we actually created a customized escape game based on the safety protocols of the company that we put 300 people through. And then we tested them before and tested them after and the numbers were incredible because they had a fun activity where they were working together that was collaborative with a little competition, but mainly collaborative. And it was really cool because that gamified piece of it uh, added to the retention. Yep. Boy, oh boy. That, as you describe what you're doing, the opportunities sound almost endless, Ben. Um, how does a company, uh, you know, affirm your size? And obviously you're growing and rolling and doing things for the first time seemingly every day. How do you, how do you stay focused? How do you make sure you don't try to eat the whole elephant in a single bite? When I figure that one out, I'll let you know. Uh, that's, that, I, I suffer from a lot of what entrepreneurs do and you know, I throw a lot of mud on the wall and, and, and I'm, I've used this year to hopefully stay a little more focused. I am in no way an expert in there. I, I see a lot of shiny objects and I go down, but I've got a good team around me to help focus on, on these types of new activities and not think, okay, I can do this big event and this small event. So now we're, we're focused and it's got to, I don't, I don't know the answer. You know, I'm, I'm trying to filter uh, every opportunity or every request. Uh, to what can be done from as far as the unique thing is historically we were always we were an inbound company people found us they said okay this is what we're gonna do we talk about the options what their goals are we, we would help them so it was pretty easy for us just to make that happen right now we've got to be much more proactive with our product like one pagers and things like that so we've got to think strategically about what we're going to put out there in the marketplace and that is helping us focus a little more where i could say that we do 20 different things i'm only really going to start promoting five quite honestly okay and with each experience you get to know what you're really good at right where your strengths are and simultaneously some other things that you know we did it we gave it a try maybe not we probably won't go after that but if something comes to us we may take it up again well, I love to at least do something twice, so that way I can, uh, you know, get all the all the learning out the first time and actually maybe be profitable the second time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I see. So learning has something to do with profitability. Now I get it. Sometimes, <laughs> yep. Now I get it. Um, so Ben, all of this, uh, all of this taken in, and it's a lot to take in. Um, reflect back over the last nine months, right? Go back to the beginning of the year, calendar year, and, and what's been the biggest uh, lesson or aha moment for you? Uh, the biggest one is that 
I did not uh, listen to my wife early enough in the idea that uh, we have been wanting to create a lot more of these residual style activities, the DIY, the courses, the, the do at your own pace type scenarios. And I, just, I didn't dig my well before I was thirsty. So these were always, oh yeah, I'll do that later, I'll do that later, but business was good. And so the biggest thing I've learned is that I need to step back and evaluate and okay, is this good for the long term? And that's what a lot of 2020 has helped us learn is, okay, well, if I can't do this, how are we gonna operate? How are we gonna take our skills and our assets to the marketplace and also protect ourselves, right? I mean, it was, it, it's been a very tough financial year. And so it, um, it, it was, it was eye-opening to realize how shaky my business model was up until this point because it was driven on travel, quite simply. Right. If you couldn't get somewhere, you're not getting it done or getting paid. Correct. Right. And so, uh, and we all know what happened to travel. So, um, Ben, uh, and and as a sponsor of the, as a, a sponsor and, and really an active sponsor of the Mount Pleasant uh, Business and Community Expo, uh, number one, on behalf of the Chamber, we're so grateful for your involvement and helping the Chamber stay on the front edge because I'm pretty sure our, our choices ended up being we go virtual or we don't go at all. And that's what an awful lot of events this year have been, whether they're fundraising events or, or anything that required a lot of people to be in one place in person. Um, so on behalf of the Chamber, thank you for using your ingenuity, your own ability to pivot and do that. Um, but uh, give us, if you will, maybe a, a final thought and where people can find you because based on the, on the passion that, that we can hear and see from you, and in addition to that, uh, you know, the fact that you've been able to pivot and move in a lot of seemingly different directions, a final thought and where people can find you, please. You're welcome. Uh, you know, after doing the expo, I was like, I'm, there's probably 15 things I'd like to add to it or do in another scenario, but I mean, we, we got, we produced a good event and I, I'm excited about it. Uh, the simplest way in these terms would be onpurposeteambuilding.com. Takes you to our team building page. And then phone number is 843-580-3757. And email address is info at onpurposeadventures.com. Okay, thanks, Ben. Um, I, uh, I'm just delighted to have you. Uh, we're excited to uh, talk a little bit with Zoe uh, and we're glad you could take the time in your busy schedule to uh, spend a little time with us uh, as a sponsor of the 10th annual Mount Pleasant Business and Community Expo. So uh, thanks again, safe travels, and uh, I'm sure we will be talking with you again soon. Thanks very much for having me, John. Sure thing. Take care, Ben. So we appreciated Ben taking the time with us. And as you heard at the end of the video, our next guest today is Zoe. Zoe Parisos is a Charleston native with a passion for helping people live their lives on purpose and with intention. She first started her journey with On Purpose Adventures back in 2012 on a volunteer basis, but soon enough the energy and zeal of its founder rubbed off on her and she was brought into the company full time. Currently, Zoe serves On Purpose Team Building as the new business development and program creation specialist working to bring insight and a new mind to business leaders around the world. Her heart for helping shows up in her personal life through her volunteer work with Tri-County SART, S-A-R-T, board service with Keep Charleston Beautiful, organizer role with One Million Cups, and founding member of Mom Moguls. Zoe's passion also compelled her to be the founder of Defy and Conquer, a Charleston-based nonprofit with a mission to help female survivors of domestic and sexual violence reclaim power over their lives through jujitsu training. Zoe is a fierce advocate for women in business and equal opportunities for all. Zoe also enjoys time with her daughter, kayaking, paddleboarding, 
walking their Boston Terrier or attempting to surf. Zoe, welcome to The Pivot. Thank you for having me on, John. How are you today? Doing great, thank you. Glad to have you with us. So we, uh, Ben gave us a good overview of the company. If you will, talk a little bit about your role with On Purpose Adventures and On Purpose Team Building. Right, so my main focus is with On Purpose Team Building. Um, I've been helping to create the new programs that we've had to come up with during this pivot. Uh, he mentioned our strategic alliance with Dr. Troy Hall, and we had to build a program based off of his book with the hands-on activities that correlated to the principles and pulled that information out into an engaging activity multiple. We've also taken that and I'm creating courses for that. So people that can't come in person or do virtual and they really want to dive deep or DIY it, uh, will still be able to get all of that training, all of that insight, all of that engaging uh, information and be able to do it on their own time and kind of implement that into their workplace. So we've been building uh, a lot of those things. So my focus is usually on building the events or building uh, the programs that we're using. Okay, so that requires a good bit of technology understanding and know-how. A, a little bit, not too much. <laughs> okay. All right, well, that's, that's okay too. But so you are the creative mind that figures out, here's a problem and an opportunity, and here's how we're going to address that. I would say Ben is the creative mind that comes up with all the ideas, and then I am the person that handles the details of making it happen. Oh, okay, okay. Fantastic. Um, and I, I appreciate having a greater understanding of that. Zoe, your, your involvement is amazing to me. Um, you've got so many things going on, so many irons in the fire in your life between volunteer, uh, your day job volunteering, and uh, certainly raising your daughter. And uh, I understand that's going reasonably well, considering the fact that she is in virtual learning. Yes, and actually the virtual learning opened up an opportunity for us um, and this whole virtual environment. We're on a, a road trip for whole, her, full, her whole first semester of school. We're just traveling around the country, spending a week um, in different places and teaching her about you know government and geography and, and just kind of the world around us. <laughs> wow, fantastic, what a great opportunity. Um, sounds wonderful, Zoe. Hey, uh, Rebecca, let's get you in here if we can for a question or a thought from you or somebody who's attending our event live. Uh, thank you, John. I, I do have a, a question for Zoe. Uh, one of my areas of interest, in particular now that my dad is 90 years old, is working with seniors, and we certainly understand that being able to stimulate their minds, um, tap into those memories, um, helps them live a more enjoyable life and helps, um, you know, to a certain extent, limit dementia issues. Is that something that On Purpose Adventures has ever looked into going into the senior industry, particularly now that they're more isolated? And I have to say, the grandmas and grandpas in my life are much more with it technology, oh. uh, much more technology savvy than they were in the past because they want to Zoom with their grandchildren. Absolutely. It's amazing to me how quickly um, the elder generation has been able to pick up on a lot of these technological advances now that it's kind of been forced on them. Um, we haven't particularly thought of going into that realm. Our realm is more in the corporate or business hemisphere. We do offer what we call our public option games, which we, we break them down per what age might be able to handle them. We've got online escape rooms for somewhere, my daughter's six and she's able to do some of the escape rooms. They're geared more towards that age. So we do have some that are geared more towards specific age or ability level. And those are just fun all around. It's, it's engaging your mind, you're having to solve riddles to your ability level um, and then, you know, escape the room or find the bad guy or the, de de uh, I don't, what do you call it? Cut the wire on the bomb and things like that. So it's not in particularly targeted to that, fee uh, that demographic, but you know, we have options available. Sounds good. 
Sounds like maybe a fun holiday family game if we can't all be together in person oh, <laughs> with, with Thanksgiving <laughs> right around the corner. <laughs> it's great too because we've had families that'll do those public option games and um, they'll they'll put it one person will have the screen up on like their zoom screen and everyone's kind of in the meeting and yelling and helping each other or they do it as a competition because they're separate and so every everyone that's in one house together is competing against the other family members in different houses and you know they're on a speakerphone or something just yelling at each other trying to give wrong answers <laughs> it's just funny it's it's so interesting to me to see all the different dynamics come to play when people are engaging in in you know, co conflict games it's fun thank you <laughs> sounds like great fun zoe um zoe how about uh just as we did with ben how about a final thought and where someone can contact you. So we can be found at onpurposeteambuilding.com. That's more for the specific team building side of things. There's also On Purpose Adventures. That's for our like fun games, the combat archery. I People need to be doing more combat archery right now. We, we have full face masks. And, you know, so it works for social distancing. You're far away, but you're running around. You're getting your exercise. You get to shoot people with these giant foam tipped arrows. You know, it's just, it's a great, it's a great stress reliever and boredom buster. Um, so that's onpurposeadventures.com. The phone number is 843-580-3757. And really the final thought is everybody is going through something right now. Our stories may not necessarily align, but everybody does have a story from this pandemic. So just uh, hoping that everyone is, is showing each other grace and understanding and, and mercy and don't give up. And this is a perfect time to be trying new things, even if you fail, because ev everyone is kind of up in the air right now. So there's no better time to, to get, get down to it and, and make things happen. Yes, indeed. Zoe, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, we thank uh, Ben, uh, owner of On Purpose Adventures and Zoe Parisos, Director of New Business Development with On Purpose Team Building. Thanks to all of our chamber members with us live and those uh, catching us on the recording. And a big thank you as well to Rebecca, our uh, Mount Pleasant Chamber's own Rebecca Imholtz for keeping us on track today for, from all of us at the Mount Pleasant Chamber. Thank you for joining us this week on The Pivot. Make it a great week.